Listening a hundred. Skills test one. Exercise one. I'm really pleased that people can recognise the scene that I've painted. In the foreground, there's a low stone wall and some trees to the left. There's an old farm building on the right. It looks as if it's about to fall down. There are usually a lot of sheep and cows in the field, but I only decided to put a few in, as I'm not very good at painting them. They look more like dogs and horses. Because I painted my picture in autumn, there weren't many flowers around, but there are lots now. If I paint the same scene again in the future, I'll add more flowers. Away in the distance are some hills. We don't have any mountains near us, though. The landscape isn't dramatic, but it's pretty, and I love it. Listening a hundred and one, skills test one, exercise two. What did you like best about the activity centre, Charlie? Well, it was really cool spending a week with all my friends. But I missed my mum and dad, of course. And did you take part in many activities? Yes, lots. I didn't try everything, but on the first day, I tried the rock climbing and the paragliding, which I absolutely loved. So you weren't afraid of heights then? No, the higher the better. I enjoyed the rock climbing because you have to work as a team. It's a lot harder than it looks. The paragliding was amazing, just like being a bird. What else did you do? I spent an afternoon mountain biking. You get to go really fast, and you need to pay attention to where you're going. I fell off twice. What about water sports? Did you do any snorkeling? No, I didn't go anywhere near the water. It looked so cold. Listening a hundred and two, skills test two, exercise one. What's the most exciting journey you've ever been on? It was definitely the ride in the hot air balloon. That sounds fantastic. It was. There were about eight or nine of us all together. That was more than I was expecting, but it didn't matter because we all had a great view. Was it mainly children? No, there were all sorts of ages, even a boy and his granddad. So, how did it feel when you left the ground? It felt strange. You don't realize that you're moving at first. But then you're up and away over the trees. Suddenly, you can't hear the traffic anymore, and you feel as if you're in a world of your own. So, what did you see? We flew over my house and our school, and saw the team having football practice. Did they see you? Well, they saw the balloon, but not me. It's amazing how everyone weighs when you're in a balloon. You're doing it again next month, aren't you? Yes, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Listening a hundred and three, skills test two, exercise two. The Torwell Museum has a wide range of machines and devices that show the best in international design over the years. Of course, most of these items have been replaced with more advanced technology, but if you look. You'll see that the ideas behind the older machines are very similar to the modern equipment we have today. There are all sorts of things, from early washing machines to printers and cameras. You'll be amazed by the size of these objects. For example, a calculator in the museum that is the size of half a desk is now the same size as a credit card. And you won't forget the early computers in a hurry. In the Torwell Museum, there's one dating from thirty years ago. That's not a very long time, but when it was originally installed in the office, the floor had to be rebuilt and made stronger. Now, a computer the size of your hand would be much more powerful. Listening a hundred and four. Skills test three, exercise one. When you take a walk in the countryside, there are some basic rules you should follow. First of all, if you're planning to go a long way, 
or want to explore the hills, you should check the weather before you leave the house. In the countryside, the weather can change very quickly, and it can be very dangerous if you get cold and wet, especially if you're wearing the wrong sort of clothes. Also, take water and a good map. Once you're in the countryside, make sure you follow any signs. If you have to open a gate to get into a field, make sure you close it again. Keep your dog, if you have one, near you at all times, and don't let it run near any sheep. Don't walk on the plants or pick the flowers, and always take your litter home. Think of it as walking in someone else's garden. The countryside is for us all to enjoy. Listening 105. Skills Test 3. Exercise 2. We went on a school trip to the coast last week. It was great. We went to a lovely old fishing village called Robin Hood's Bay in the north of England. They don't do much fishing there anymore, but it's still a fascinating place. The houses are very traditional and they're connected by very narrow streets. Our teacher, Mr Grayson, took us for a walk along the beach. There were lots of rocks and interesting things to look at in the rock pools. Mr Grayson told us where there was the wreck of a ship. Obviously, we didn't see it ourselves, as it was underwater. Ryan Casey asked if there were any icebergs nearby, but Mr Grayson just laughed. Listening 106. Skills Test 4. Exercise 1. When we arrived at the hotel, we were shocked. It was terrible. The hotel was really small and old. It was between two really tall office blocks, not next to the park as we'd read in the advert. At the reception desk, we discovered that the receptionist didn't speak English at all. That was OK, or so we thought, as Martin had learnt a few phrases of the language. But the receptionist didn't understand that either. We had to wait ten minutes for the manager to come and help us. We had to take our own bags up to our rooms. This was particularly difficult for Grandad, who has a bad back. Dad told him to leave his suitcase at reception. Dad came back later to get it himself. We were even more worried when we saw the rooms. We were expecting them to be small but the one that Tommy and I were staying in only had a tiny window that was too high to see out of. In Mum and Dad's room, the radiator was hanging off the wall and, as if all this wasn't terrible enough, the wardrobe door was broken. Breakfast the next morning was terrible. Our table was dirty and two of the chairs were broken. There were no clean spoons or knives the coffee was cold and there was no milk. What a holiday!